I've spent the last two months walking these trails and I find something different every single time I'm out here. I think there was a puddle there. Oh, yeah, hard to see them now. At least my boots are waterproof. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's full of light. It's full of death. It's full of changes. I'm surprised they get actual ice now. I really have to get around. Tracks? No. I'll record you. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm too tall for her. For her craft. I meant across the pond. Oh, yeah, no. I'm too heavy for that. Trip. Um. Any deep? Um, yeah, these are my knees here. Yeah. I'm a little. Hmm. Crazy view here. Yeah. On, let me get my mittens on and Andy can go first. I don't think she's used to this snow that's <laughs> deeper than her legs are long. Oh, you're so cute. You have to follow us now, huh? Oh, you don't have to follow on my view. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you got nasty. Look at that. She realized she does have to be behind you because <laughs> she kind of got stuck there. Oh, she's gonna be tired tonight. Not to her. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here where I think it's left. <laughs> Below the drift. Go ahead, honey. Oh, you'll make it. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Is that better? Huh? not seeing one of these while you're running through the forest <clears throat> in the dark at night not having a clue 
What in the hell is going on? What? Well, you know what it looks like to me. I think it's what they used um, around Sleeping Beauty's castle. I think that was the big thorny whatever that they couldn't get through and dulled all the, all the knight's blades. And well, if it was magically fortified, two dull blades. And regrow super fast. It's been a while since I've been out and about or written or made a video of my very own because I took over the editing of our videos, our videos. He changed the channel name from his name to Andy and Nancy, which is cool because, you know, hi, I'm Nancy. We see armadillos around here all the time. <laughs> They're like squirrels are in Minnesota. They're everywhere. We hear coyotes all the time, all night long. With Jesse along, I feel pretty good back here. What did I just hear yell? I swore I heard Andy yelling. Oh, look at the raccoon tracks. <laughs> now my fun muddy feet. What? Oh, you're locked out. Hang on. I <laughs> forgot I had the key. Hey, lady. Could just wake up your kid. All right, I'm back walking the same track I went just a few minutes ago. I had to turn around and go back because I forgot the key in my hand or in my pocket. And we locked the door this morning, so Andy went back to the bus and couldn't get in. <laughs> and here I am going back through the mud. I wear my Crocs. I don't know, can you see them? They're super muddy and dirty and like seriously you can see my feet on the inside. You can see the how the mud has squished through. It doesn't bother me. Awesome. I wear my Crocs because it's so muddy out here and I have no hiking boots or anything of the sort. You know what, I'm gonna go around this time I think. And it's super muddy out here. I mean, look at that. <laughs> you can see my, my footprints in the middle there I think. But it's super muddy out here because it, it snowed. And um, yeah, when it melts, dirt turns into mud. Normally I wear my lined Crocs because the lined Crocs don't have holes around the edges like the regular ones do for breathability because they're lined, they're to keep you warm. Well, there's one thing that Crocs are really, really bad at and that is handling being in a warm condition. Andy lost a pair to a tailgate of a truck one time while he was spray foaming. He left his um, Crocs on the tailgate of a truck and it just happened to be in the sun. And when he came back out, they were hot. So he put them inside the truck to cool down and when they cooled down, he couldn't even get his foot inside of them. Because what you may not know about Crocs is that they shrink. 
if they get hot. So my Crocs, my lined ones, were sitting next to the bed where I took them off because I was using them when it was super below zero and super, super cold down here in Oklahoma a couple weeks ago. And I forgot they were there after Andy installed the, the rear diesel heater and the vent just happened to be blowing right on them. So my favorite pair of Crocs, my lined Crocs, that I wear everywhere and they keep my feet clean and my feet don't slip around inside of them when I walk in the mud, I had to throw away the other day because they shrunk so badly from sitting in front of the vent that I couldn't even put my feet inside of them. So I'm wearing my normal Crocs and uh, let me just say it is a slippery, slidey mess. I don't know what kind of tree this is. I really don't. But this is what it looks like all the way up the freaking trunk. Those are thorns. Those are thorns. That's why we call this the murder tree. Because if you look at this, ugh, ugh, I don't want to touch that one. It comes out, all the branches are like that. There are other ones around here that are even crazier, but they're smaller. But look at this. Here, I'll put my hand over here. Look at the size of my hand compared to the size of these thorns. Ooh, look at that. They are, they are the size of my hand. I'm getting used to um, just living on the bus with <sighs> with just Andy and Connor. It's um, they communicate differently than I do, and um, that can be a challenge sometimes. It's hard to be a feeler and a bus full of thinkers. So to be able to come out here where it's completely silent. It's kind of been a godsend. It's kind of been a lifesaver. Okay, if I don't come back, I guess we know it's because something ate me. And I'm a little hesitant to get too close in my Crocs, because I can't run worth a shit in these shoes. something dead back here honey do I need to follow you is that what you're waiting for here you want me to come with you oh oh it's a dead coyote isn't it it does smell like death over here this is the second dead animal we've come across today oh honey oh Mm-hmm.